Nobody's gonna know. I could stay like this. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna Forever know. Forever following you. How would they know? Just don't get too far. How would they know? And I'll be right How would they know? I can't. I can't. I just, I can't. Oh my god. If your foundation looks like this, then pay attention. What this means is that you're looking kiki AF, and we don't want that. To eliminate this from happening, what you're going to do is after you apply your foundation, you're going to take a damp beauty blender, and you're going to beat your face for a total of six minutes. Then you're going to take a tissue, put it over your beauty blender, and just blot any excess foundation off. This is a Wayne Goss trick, and it is a life changer, I promise you. straight ahead the wing looks completely normal but then you know it works for a hooded eye try it out let me know how you go i'm gonna show you guys a super easy makeup artist hack that's gonna make your face look like a filter i'm gonna super zoom in on my foundation this is no beauty filter you guys this is just how my foundation looks all you need is your foundation done, your favorite setting spray, a beauty blender, and a fan and or a palette to fade yourself. <laughs> so literally all I'm going to do is douse my face in my MAC Fix Plus. Just douse it. Make sure your face is wet. Then I'm going to fan my skin to about 30%, I guess. Then you're going to take your damp beauty blender and you're going to press your foundation in. Literally, this helps get rid of that cakey and powdery look, and it presses your makeup into your skin so it lasts longer. I do this on all my little eyes and everything. Here's the makeup hack that you need back to your team right now. Your foundation will turn out better if you correct your spots before you apply foundation or concealer. Waiting for the concealer to dry for a few seconds and then blending it out with the brush actually makes it more full coverage. Putting on an eye cream before you start your makeup will make your makeup look more smooth. If you want to elevate your face, make sure that the tail of your eyebrow is higher than the front of your eyebrow. Don't put on concealer until you're done your cream contour. Apply your concealer like this to slim your nose and elevate 
your face. Instead of baking, press the translucent powder right into the concealer. If you are baking, press it into your skin instead of brushing it away. Use dark brown eyeshadow instead of eyeliner for a softer look. If your shovel is putting on eyelashes, just cut them in half. It makes it so much easier. Lining your lips with the foam already on gives it that natural pouty look. Like for part two.